How to permanently hide recent documents and folders lists in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint and Excel. As you can see guys, I'm currently on my desktop and right next to my mouse cursor, I have shortcuts for Microsoft Word, PowerPoint and Excel. Let's start by hiding recent documents and folders lists for Microsoft Word. The first thing I'm going to do is open up Microsoft Word by double clicking on the shortcut here on my desktop. Once done, I'll be in the home section of Microsoft Word. As you can see, we're currently in the recent tab and you can see all the recent Microsoft Word files. If I left click on more documents at the bottom right hand corner here, you also have the option to view recent folders. As you can see, we're currently on documents, but if I left click on folders, you'll be able to see a list of all the recent folders. To hide recent documents and folders lists for Microsoft Word, navigate to the bottom left hand corner here to where it says options and left click on options. A new window will open called Word Options. As you can see guys, we're in the general tab here. The tab that we need is called Advanced. Once you've found it, simply left click on it. Once you're in the Advanced Word Options, scroll all the way down until you see where it says display. Under display, it says show this number of recent documents. As you can see, it's currently set to 50. And if we hover over the I symbol for information here, it says show this number of recent documents, change how many documents are shown in the recent documents lists. So as you can see, guys, this number is currently set at 50. If you want to hide the recent documents list, we have to delete the number 50 by simply left clicking on this box here, deleting the number 50 and replacing it with the number zero. To hide recent folders lists, look for where it says show this number of unpinned recent folders. As you can see, that's also set to 50. If we left click on this box, delete the number 50 and replace it with the number zero, this will also hide the recent folders lists. To save these changes to the advanced word options, navigate to the bottom right hand corner and left click on OK. Once you've done that, you can close out of Microsoft Word. And now if we open up the Microsoft Word program once again by double clicking on the shortcut here on my desktop, you can see in the recent documents lists, there are no recent documents. You haven't opened any documents recently. Click open to browse for this document. And if I left click on more documents here and left click on the folders tab, you can see it says you have no recent folders, meaning that we have successfully hidden recent documents and folders lists in Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to close out of the Microsoft Word program now. Moving on next to Microsoft PowerPoint, I'm just going to double click on the PowerPoint shortcut here on my desktop, and I'm going to repeat a similar process to what I did in Word to hide recent documents and folders lists. To do this, again, navigate to the bottom left hand corner here to where it says options, left click on it, left click on advanced, scroll all the way down to where it says display, replace the number 50 here for show this number of recent presentations to zero and do the same for where it says show this number of unpinned recent folders, change the number 50 to also zero and then left click on OK. Close out of Microsoft PowerPoint, open it back up again by double clicking on the shortcut and as you can see in the recent documents lists, everything is now hidden. And if we left click on more presentations and then left click on folders, you can see I have no recent folders. I'm going to close out of the Microsoft PowerPoint program now. And let's finally move on to Microsoft Excel. Again, I'm going to double click on the Microsoft Excel shortcut here to open it up to be taken to the home section of Microsoft Excel. We can see a list of our recent documents here. And if we left click on more workbooks and then left click on folders, you can see a list of our recent folders. To hide our recent Microsoft Excel documents and folders lists, navigate to the bottom left hand corner of Microsoft Excel to where it says options, left click on it, a new window will open called Excel options, left click on the advanced tab and scroll down until you see where it says display. As you can see guys, here's the display section, again where it says show this number of recent workbooks. As you can see, it's also set to 50. Click in the box, delete the number 50, type zero, show this number of unpinned recent folders. Again, it's set to 50. Click in the box here, delete the number 50, type zero, and then navigate to the bottom right hand corner here and left click on OK. Once done, close out of Microsoft Excel, open it back up by double clicking again on the shortcut. And as you can see, there is now no longer a list of recent documents. And if I left click on more workbooks here and then left click on folders, you can see I have no recent folders, which means we have successfully hidden recent documents and folders lists in Microsoft Excel. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to permanently hide recent documents and folders lists in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, 
comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let you go?